my gut is telling me to insulate it. And I don't know. I'm just making this up as I go. Going back to my favorite tool of this project so far, the oscillating saw. Let's give it a go. Definitely going to use the mask. If this works, I'm taking it outside. Let's just find out first. So the rest of this is just measure, cut, measure, cut, measure, cut. section here I decided that the most I decided the most effective thing to go with is just the foam because it's gonna fill the hole very nicely nice and tight and I'm gonna just go ahead and use the same tape that we used on the roof the ever bond ever bond whatever it's called um, rubber seal and to just go over this this and this it'll all just be one nice continuous piece um and yeah i think that, i think that's awesome i'm gonna do here and here then this whole side will be done but yeah it's looking good <laughs> It is quite a bit colder today. Just woke up and it was cold. So today I think we're going to focus on getting as much additional insulation packed in as we can um, so I can move on to the next tasks. Uh, yeah, I guess that's what we're doing. So it's going to be more of the same, but it'll look cool, hopefully. Let's get to it.
solid. And this is all done. Okay, so then you just are going to do full panels here, is that what you're uh -huh. saying? Okay, sweet. Yeah, you did a good job. You got a lot done. Alright, so I think that's going to do it for today. I am quite happy with what we got done here. As you can see, we got the whole back side and the wall and uh, some other bits and bobs. So yeah, feeling good about it. Let's see what we can get done tomorrow. All right, another day, same project. Before we get into it today, um, let's talk about why we're doing everything. So yesterday was great. Um, felt like I got a lot done. We got all the um, old gaps filled in with this blue green uh, XPS, which has an R value of five per inch. Today, what we're gonna do is go ahead and add, well, we're gonna do the roof, the ceiling first, the missing part. And then I'm going to try to add in a layer along the wall to see how far we get with that. Um, but let's talk about the point of all this. The reason I'm adding an extra layer of insulation is because of heat retention. When we're talking about heat, you know, you have to think about the places where you're going to lose the most heat. And that's going to be in areas, uh, obviously the windows, major heat exchange area. Um, so we'll have to create an insulation uh, plug that we can put on the windows, each and every one of them, whenever we want to conserve heat, especially at night. Um, also, you're going to lose it in any air gaps and any of the places that have vents, which is why we got rid of all the propane fi fixtures because they're heavily vented, uh, which is terrible for insulation. Um, you're also going to lose it in any of the gaps or seams. And then this is aluminum. Aluminum exchanges heat uh, really well between outside and in. So you're going to lose quite a bit of heat through your aluminum frames. So anywhere that we can provide some insulation around those frames is also going to help to um, retain heat or in the summer to keep it out. That's the best thing about insulation. It works both ways. Keeps you warm in the winter and cool in the summer. The whole point is to be able to use the uh, the mini split slash heat pump to work all seasons uh, without the assistance of an additional heat source. I know we're gonna have lots of sun during the summer, so I think it'll be fine for AC. But for the winter, I'm really nervous. <laughs> so I got a bunch of these. I'll use these to frame out the places where the top layer of insulation will go. Um, it's not going to be nearly as intricate as this because it's not supporting anything. It's just an extra internal barrier. So I'll do sort of framed out um, in wider spaces. We'll lay these out. We'll put the foam between it. We'll put another layer of the, um, the thin ply around it, which will make it look nice and uniform and clean. That should do it. Yeah. Still have lots of it. So let's get to it.
pushing forward today, we're going to frame out some sections for the interior layer of um, foamular here. So it's not going to have as many sections as uh, the last one, um, but just enough to support um, the foam and the paneling. So I'm going to start here, kind of work my way out. Let's give it a go. Putting the roof panel. Okay. You ready? Now I have to measure real quick how far in this is. It's exactly 31. Oh god. 31 and just just shy of three quarters. Let's do the same thing. You ready? Hand me that um, stapler. All right, now. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. Here's what we're gonna do. Get in here. We'll take these. All right, now get your side up. Go ahead. Yep. And you got You're gonna have to bring it up and push it flat against the wall. Okay. This is like. Wait, wait. Was it that big? Oh, I didn't cut this one part yet. Yeah, okay. Let's measure it again. All right, you gotta help me take this out. This is gonna be a nightmare. I might just cut it inside. Okay. I think I'm gonna do that. Okay. Because this is horrible to get in here, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna cut it inside. filling in the easy spots <laughs> and then get to the more complicated ones which is going to be the ones with windows and the like ones with angles which is weird I think that's going to take so yeah I'm going to try to do the other ones those are simple
wanted to take a quick second to explain why I cut out this interior trim for the foam. And it's because it's gonna fit around this trimming on the window. And the reason I decided to cut to the inside of the trim instead of outside um, is because it has more insulation, but also I believe this is aluminum. And aluminum is an excellent um, heat uh, conduit, so it's gonna transfer heat uh, in and out of the, um, the structure very easily. So if it's hot outside, this thing will get hot. If it's cold outside, it's gonna transfer heat through. So by putting a little bit of insulation here, my goal or aim is to dampen the heat transfer that's happening on each of these window blocks, sills, whatever you call them. See? And then they also serve to kind of lock in the foam around the sill. This is my first one. This one's a little sloppier. But the rest of them are nice. Let's lock this one into place. Good. There's nothing that's rejecting. It's just the, the foam itself being a little weaker here. So I'm going to use liquid nails to just tighten that foam down to the wall. And there we go. We've got all the windows done. Ah! I'm feeling real good right now. Yep, we almost have literally all of the insulation done, which is outrageous. Outrageous! There, that's what's gonna happen once we have the uh, countertop in. Okay, so insulation has gone really well, and now I'm faced with a dilemma. You can see, walls are done, below the kitchen is done, cabinets are done, all of that has insulation. We need to put in a roof panel, that's not a big deal. Um, but here's the kicker, all of this, you hear that? super thin it's like it's like this thick and that's connecting to the outside it is the bed of the truck so it's sort of got like an air pocket of insulation there but I need to decide whether or not it's worthwhile to insulate these sidewalls um, look I mean look how thin that is and I don't know. I'm just making this up as I go. I don't think it would take a tremendous amount of effort, but there's kind of no going back once I make a decision. And my gut is telling me to insulate it. Um, because more insulation is better. I think I'm gonna, I think it's gonna be a pain. I think I'm gonna pull up the roof, the flooring first and pull out the water tank. Anyhow, that's where I'm at. I think I'm gonna do it.